tears only is taken on Twitter. That might be my new app. And then I'll commit to Marth. <laughs> okay. No, I'm kidding. Marth is high tier. And this is going to be a good match. I think. Yeah. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Let's see how it goes. I can hear someone's joy. Oh, that's, that was, that's that was Chase. Chase. I can hear Chase. the joystick from all the way over here. Yeah. Dang, that's crazy. He's getting into it for sure. And this would be a good way to continue his run with another uh, ranked win, I would say, right? Yeah. He would have to have gotten at least one ranked win to get this far. Yeah. Does that even count? Like, I don't know. I don't know how the the PR panel is doing this because it's been like two years <laughs> since the last well, PR came actually out. Actually, so. is the start of the PR season was a few weeks ago. I think oh, okay, at MSM okay. actually. Oh, gotcha, actually, gotcha. Yeah, MSM was the start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't know how they're counting like ranked wins and stuff like that. Like, oh. are they considered ranked? You know? Something oh like, yeah, yeah. Good yeah, question. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll see. So far, Dom hasn't been touched. So no, before we can think, all. before we can think about about wins, no. we gotta think about getting a hit. Yeah, yeah. I, you're right. <laughs> Almost a whole minute without getting. Oh, Dom is playing zero games today. Zero to death, the Palu. And uh, it's crazy as you know, that zero to death was. He actually very easily could have gotten zero death himself there. Yeah. Actually, I don't know how Dom knew that Chase was gonna try and chase him even more. So he delayed his recovery to not get hit by another Nair or anything. Yeah. So. He's so good at it. He's probably just so used to this different situation. Yeah. It's like, okay, he's a whole stock ahead. I'm a whole stock ahead. So he's probably going to try and get an early edge guard to try and catch up. And he's like, okay, I know exactly what to do now then. Yeah. You know, something I've learned against fighting people who are good at playing around their weakness of recovery, they actually always wait for you to swing first off stage. Mm -hmm. And then they like time their drift to go around you. And then they'll use their double jump. Yeah. But, whew, Speaking of doubles, that's two stops. Yeah, that was, a, that was a tipper bear. That was, that's rough to come back from. Oh, there's the play with the cross again. Yeah, I like that. It actually forced Chase to make a decision to go off stage, and then at that point, he was just able to swing with the tether and come back from that. Yeah. Don's looking in really peak form today. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my goodness, the setup. Oh, my God, if the cross hit. Oh, he's oh yeah. Back. yeah. Nah. <laughs> that was a huge lead. That's a rough match. This huge is lead. best of five, at least, because we are in winter semis now. Yeah. So that is something to think about. However, pretty much the whole game was thrown away on that one because Dom was just unstoppable that round. Yeah, and honestly, I don't even think the Rob will be a huge uh, change, honestly. Just judging by how he's playing the matchup, it just seems like a lot of uh, unfamiliarity, not only in the matchup, but how Dom is playing. Mm -hmm. So I don't really know if it changing character is going to be with the move here. Not unless he completely gets like outclassed this match as well and he feels like he's supposed yeah. to counter pick. But. I say like give him one more like this match and then maybe you'll see. If he gets like obliterated again maybe it's like okay maybe it's just de definitely not followed. Yeah. Because at that point it's like well, well what have you learned from like the first two matches if you've gotten destroyed. Yeah. You know so. Yeah. At least he's getting hits this time. Yeah. <laughs> so at it's at something. this point in the last game Dom was already close to killing him again. So I think I think Chase has woken up a lot, and it would say a lot if he's able to zero to death Dom on this stock, as Dom zero to death him on his first stock in the last game. Yeah, this match is definitely looking a lot better. Try to go for like a turnaround back air or something after oh. the roll, but not quite gonna find that. Back air on. one more time. Back throw, excuse me. Ooh, are we getting the zero to death right back? Yeah, like that. He he just yeah. waited until the absolute last moment, and it looks like Chase decided to just bite the bait a little bit too early. Still a huge lead though, even though he didn't get the zero to death to work out in his favor. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think a back throw might even be enough to kill him this stage. Yeah. It looks like he's using the, the platform and the extra aerial ground that he has to his advantage. That way he can navigate around these projectiles a little more and use his uh, perfect air dodges to try and get around all of the projectiles as well. But he does have that explosive flame. That's another thing that he has in this matchup that can help. If Don does decide to play at a distance, hey, I can uh, do the same thing to you. Mm -hmm. Also, the nature of the reflector, I don't know if we'll see much of it, but that is something that's always in the cards as well. Looking really good for Chase here. Off the top with the upbeat, but he's actually still low percent that is not really anything to worry about right now. Falls out of that first nair, tries to come back with the second one, tried to drag down, but it couldn't find the right positioning afterwards to get a grab. Oh! Oh, oh, no follow-up off of the cross, unfortunately, for uh, for Dom. Yeah. yeah, I think he was expecting him to not get hit by the cross, but he actually did, so then he wasn't able to position himself correctly after that. He looked like he was trying to get, catch a jump over the cross afterwards, but didn't quite find it. Oh, off the top platform, man. Chase's positioning on this stage has just been so good. I honestly haven't seen very many openings for Dom to get a safe kill. 
bigger. He can retreat to the top of the up beat, but yeah, he's not really able to turn into a kill just yet. That was really weird how he dared into the explosive flame. He just kind of like slid out. Well, let's see. Chase still on his first stock. Dom slowly coming back up and uh, actually uses the reflector <laughs> for once in this matchup. You find the opportunity to use it. Oh Double up air. Oh, the edge cancel? Dude, I, if he got the edge cancel to another up air, I think it might have been able to kill. But he actually tried to cover the ledge with the explosive flame there. Mm -hmm. That's actually so smart. Yeah, Chase game two looking like a completely different player. Oh my goodness. Another edge cancel. He's starting to Back feel a little bit confident. Yes. He was looking for it the first stock and he was able to find it the second time around this time. Oh yeah, why did not have Chase here on game three? Okay, how does he get around? Still Unfortunately, living. he doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> no tipper on the up tilt, so Chase is perfectly fine here. Back on the ledge, but that is all good, yeah. Okay, at that point, you're at a high percent. You're, you're not going to get very much uh, ledge invincibility, so that's hard to just come back from in general. He's got himself an opportunity. Oh He's up a whole stock. Pressure on the platform. You're basically begging to get shield coach in that situation. Honestly, you just want to get away from the platform when you're stuck like that. Mm -hmm. Instead of just being stuck in shield. Okay, the jab comes in. Nice Nair spacing again on the shield. Like kind of like close the shield a little bit. He's not gonna get the actual focus once. Gets back out. Retain face control. Honestly, yeah, this is not looking like the same game as game one at all. At this point, it looks like every t now at this time he's expecting where the projectiles are coming. So Chase has been preemptively avoiding those projectiles and getting into himself in a good position. It looks like you, you see the projectile to time rate has decreased significantly for Dom because he doesn't have as much time to really prepare for what he's looking for. Back throw. Casual grab. Throw him off the stage. Down tilt. Over and over. Okay. Dom really needs a big play to bring this back to my opinion. This is a huge lead for Chase. Yeah, and Chase is not just playing that and safe shooter. Okay. Back at the ledge. Doesn't find the back throw he's looking for, but still. He'll take a little bit of hits here and there, but nothing that Dom can really turn to a kill so far. Alright. Oh, holy water. Oh, no, that's good. Yeah, can't, can't find anything. That was an awkward position to be in because he was still falling down from throwing it, so wasn't able to position for oh. something. Finally gets the tipper back there, though. Alright, what are we going to see from Dom to bring this back? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. It's possible, but this is definitely a rough spot, rough spot to be in for that. If he yeah. actually does bring it back, though, I feel like that would just be devastating for Chase as well, just because you were doing so well in the beginning, and then all of a sudden, the Richter, you let the Richter come back. Oh, but there we go. Uh, we didn't have to think about that too long. Back here to the rescue. Too bad for you. Great stuff. Great adaptation from Chase, honestly. Mm -hmm. Again, I said it like multiple times, but did not look like the same player yeah. in the game two at all. I think the big thing was just the maneuverability on those platforms, being able to decide where he could go, especially with those edge cancels like we saw earlier. So definitely playing to his strengths on that stage. Yeah, I, I think John, I think John might actually uh, opt to not play on a stage like that for the rest of this set. Mm -hmm. It just looked like Funny enough, Chase was able to use mobility to avoid uh, the approach options from, from Dom. Yeah. But in spite of that, we're seeing Town and City here. Yeah. Let's see if his edge cancels are as good on, on uh, Town and City. Okay. A little bit of a slower start from both of these players. Trying to do the up out of shield or something, but uh, wasn't able to find a punish. Uh, it's a matter of can Dom land back on the ground, get back to what he's doing best. He's trying to... He just wants to put some yeah. space in between him and Paulo so he can start taking up the projectiles as you can see. Yeah, he's being a little bit more conservative with the projectiles this time. Just opting for more zoning with the width this time around. Okay, that was a good holy water to keep him off. Oh, sneaking in the down so Yeah. That one's really good because you can mix up when you decide to throw second hit. It looked like Chase wasn't ready for second hit down tilt, so. <laughs> Sometimes whenever I watch Richter play, it, it legit looks like a Castlevania game. Just like oh. jumping and then throwing the whip and trying to just avoid your enemy. Oh. Especially like that, avoiding projectiles. That's like oh. exactly Castlevania, but uh. the axe comes in, snipes him right out of there. And that's exactly what Dom wants. The Stockley versus a player and character like Chase. 
Oh, a little bit greedy with the L smash, but no punish whatsoever. Yeah, just hit it the wrong direction, unfortunately. Not able to find a punish. But they're back in neutral. Dash attack comes in. Does he convert off of it? He's got ledge control. But the platforms come back. That gives Chase an opportunity to come back down. Oh. And he will. Yeah, but he did get stuck in between the projectile and uh, Richter hitbox with the F tilt. Honestly, Don's starting to find his positioning that comforts him on the stage. And uh, Chase is lagging a little bit behind, I'm not gonna lie. Even though it's only 80%. Start to add up when you're dealing with gets a good zoning character like Richter. Yeah, I mean, you, you want to get rid of the stock and the lead as much as possible because if you just let him get that chip damage, that's pretty much exactly the game he wants to play. So, oh, like, good. another good punish on the auto cool. man. All right, platforms are gone. Does he come back? Yes. Tom being a little bit conservative oh. on the chase back in the stage. Did he catch the holy one? Yeah, he did. He did. He's gonna get rid of it. Wait, Can he get anything? No <laughs> He got like tapped by it. I was hoping for like a raw back air or something, but not quite. They've been left, like stunned for the up smash too, but yeah, no dice. And speaking of dice, he's doing all the right ones right now. This is oh, Ooh, okay. God. God, another axe kill. This time coming off of the cross. Yeah, back across him sent him actually really high that time. Oh, but there we go. Another clean kill, but still two stock, two stock to one lead right now. Yeah. Honestly, uh, if, if Chase is going to be able to bring this back, we need to see some edge guards. He does try to go for like, that extended Palu Nair, like the Raw Nair uh, loop, but he dropped it and it just gave Dom another chance to boost his lead. Up he got a shield, across the cover to jump. Yeah, he pretty much kept them in place. Didn't try to go for anything crazy there. Another up he out of shield. Oh, parry the holy water. He actually up B not only to make himself able to do something out of shield, but also to dodge the holy water on the ground. Oh, that <laughs> yeah, covered two options in one right there. Yeah. That action attack might have been a mistake. Might have gone for up smash when he was caught in the holy water. Grabbed him right out of down tail. Crazy stuff. Holy water was still active. Just threw out a, a dud by accident. Yeah, even though he you know, threw nothing out, he just spaced so well that most of the time, Chase just can't find an opening. He can't take it in the crowd, can't get an arrow to work. And there's that angled up forward air. Dang, you guys are just like going back and forth. The first game heavily in Dom's favor, the second game heavily in Chase's favor. And then we see a, again a return to Dom taking a very substantial uh, win there. Right. I don't know, if this game five goes on any way like on trend of this, then uh, it would be very crazy to see. Like Chase going crazy here and then just like bringing to game five. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I forgot what, what stage did they pick? Did it say? Mm -hmm. uh, obviously it said PS2. okay, PS2. Yeah, I think at this point, like Dom is pretty much banning Battlefield any chance he gets just based on how well he played on that stage. And it was actually the stages factor, I think, for that match. Yeah. He just had so much mobility on the tripod. That was really interesting, like a point blank uh side beat instead of like a turnaround grab or something, but he still gets some conversion off of it. Oh, the platform extension with the up air. He's killed incredibly early, but decides to go for a different route with the explosive flame. Oh, he's safe though. Yeah, yeah he's completely safe. I would have loved that up B to connect. Yeah, that would have been a really nice uh, MSM clip for metagame, but unfortunately not. Oh, nope, not able to get the hit he needs off of the up air, but still, all the stage control in the world. There's the cross into the up air. Even the, the delayed hit of the cross is enough to like kind of send him right where uh, Dom wants him. Look like even sits him inwards just a little bit. I'm mm -hmm. off for that. Nice. Okay, I feel the wrong way. I thought he was going to think he was going to cross up. So I decided to go for a commitment there. It's real interesting because we saw once Dom was able to establish a stock lead against Chase in the previous game before this one, it just looked really hard for Chase to do much uh, to approach. Oh my goodness. Dom's trying to go for whatever setup he wants now. Yeah. Throwing him into the cross, trying to get the up smash too. Yeah, I mean he had the opportunity for it and he was going to try to get up smash like he said, but uh, not quite able to find it. But still, this lead that he's got, looking oh really goodness. comfortable to go into a 3-1 uh, victory here. Oh my goodness, the percent just keeps adding up and Dom is just exactly where he needs to be at all points on the stage. Even starting to condition Chase's shield more so he's seeking the grabs. I don't know, this, this lead is just is going further and further each time. Yeah, yeah that episode's safe. I don't, a little bit tough. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do with it, but it's that. 
just expecting a back air like out of shield or something. Like at this point, any any good hit will be able to take out Chase. Well, let's see. Air dodges through. Yeah, Both of these point, two. Dom is holding on to this stock lead for dear life as he should, because now he's up yet another stock. Three to one, man. He's yeah. looks so comfortable right mm -hmm. now. That's crazy. I mean, Chase is having a hard time just finding the stock to close out the first one. Gonna get caught by Holy Water. Up tilt, not gonna quite connect. But still, catches him on the platform. That looks like that little lip underneath the first platform there is such an awkward place to be because you can put the holy water yeah. and then just like get caught on the jump onto the platform to try and maneuver around. Exactly, and Dom recognizes that all too well. That's why he's continued to pressure so hard. But the explosive flame from deep. And finally, it, it looks like such a crazy snipe off stage. Just for him to take one stock off of Dom right now. Okay. Yeah, okay. Try to go for another setup. Not quite timed it correctly, but still, he still gets some kind of damage off of it. So even if it's a drop conversion, he still get, gets a decent amount of damage off of it. And it looks like Chase is just struggling just to get a stock to it. Stay alive in the set. Oh, this is something though. Oh, the holy water <laughs> interrupts. Unfortunate. He's gonna try and come back. Yeah, he does get by the holy water, but again, Dom is just perfectly spaced if he has to up the out of shields and up. No, even with the buff, it's still, yeah. it's still. That wasn't even close. I don't know why the game decided to throw the red lightning at us. Let's try again. That's a run up grab. Back throw him off. He's got a big opportunity. Wait. I think that might be yeah, stuck. Yes, that's it what is. He needs. Like the double jump. Okay. All right. Just is take it in the cards. It's possible. Is it very? Is it very difficult? He's pretty much got to get a four of a kind in the in the cards <laughs> to really get something here. <laughs> oh, oh, and Dom says absolutely not. Great games, but I'm going to win his finals.